Hey guys, welcome back. In the first lesson of the official Bolt series, we are going to set up our project to get us up and running very quickly. So if you check the links in the description below, you will find a link that will take you to the project setup lesson where you can download the Bolt platform tutorial zip file. So go ahead and download that and we're gonna open up that project in Unity. So I've extracted mine to my desktop here. So what I wanna do is I wanna to go to open and I want to go to desktop and I'm going to select bolt platformer tutorial inside we have an assets and project settings folder I'm going to select that folder just like that and if it doesn't exactly match the editor version that you are using it's fine as long as you have 2017.1 or more you're going to be good on that so just go ahead and continue so what I want to do now is I want to actually import bolt into my project now if you bought bolt on the asset store like you probably did you're going to go to window and you're going to make sure that you have asset store open and from here, you're going to download and import it into your project. Now, I do not have an asset store version available to me. So what I'm going to do is import it using assets, import package, custom package, and open that up. And I want to import everything from the Ludic folder. Once the import has completed, a setup wizard should open up just like this. And all we have to do is click on next to get started here. And we're going to use human naming for our project. If you are more familiar with scripting, you can use the programmer naming and you'll get a more precise naming of the actual properties and stuff. But for us, we're gonna use the human naming, which is a more human readable approach to the names of properties and methods and things like that. So I wanna say human naming. And for all this, I don't care about it. I'm just gonna click next, next, and generate. Now, when you dive deeper into Bolt, you wanna look at different inspectors that you can actually uh, generate for your custom types, different assemblies that you can include and all that stuff. But for this, we do not care about any of those options. And once that's done, I'm just gonna click close. And now what I wanna do is I wanna bring out some of the custom windows that we're gonna be using throughout this project to get our layout set up for everything else that we're going to need. So I'm gonna go up to window and I'm gonna open up the graph. Now the graph we're gonna be using for everything that we create. So it's gonna be where all of our logic is designed. And what I wanna do for this is have it really in the forefront. So I'm gonna drag up the project here and I'm gonna place this just off to the right of the project window, just like that. And then drag the project over. So the graph is taking up most of the space here. I also wanna open up the graph inspector, which is going to allow us to inspect details about the graph whenever we have things selected. And I'm just gonna drag this and again, drop it on the right side of the graph. So now we have this graph in the middle and some more windows on the side. So then open up the variable window there. And I'm going to drag this and drop it on the bottom of my graph inspector window. And this is going to be the layout that we're going to use throughout the entire course. And to make sure you have this layout, I want to go up to layout and I want to say save layout and I want to call it bolt. So now if we ever mess up this layout, I can go back up here and I can say, okay, load the bolt layout and there it is. Pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to set up our character controller, or at least the first bit of our character controller as it is a two-parter. My name is Austin and I will see you there.